Hello, my name is Paul Jenkins, Managing Director of UK Packaging Innovation Consultancy, The Pack Up, and I'm delighted to be joined today by Nick Broadway, co-founder and CEO of Bauer Collective. How are you doing today, Nick? Very well, thanks, Paul. Good to be speaking with you again. Excellent. Yeah, really interesting. I've been following your journey for the last three or four years. Uh, for people listening, tell us a bit more about what your business does. So, uh, Bauer Collective, we, we just celebrated our fourth birthday in January. Um, and we are uh, the, well, really the reason we founded the business was to eliminate plastic waste. That is the founding North star principle that drives me and my co-founder Marcus. Um, we come from a, a combined background of, he actually ran a sustainable packaging business. I ran a technology business. So we brought those skill sets together to tackle this this challenge and how we do that is through we have built the Bauer brand, which where we deliver sustainable household products, both um, household and personal care products to our subscribers homes in reusable packaging. So we developed a um, sort of world leading closed loop reusable packaging system called Bauer Pack. Uh, and that's kind of at the heart of our business. And then we deliver outstanding natural products that we also develop ourselves. So that's kind of where we are. Um, uh, as I said, just celebrated our fourth birthday. We've grown pretty rapidly in that time. And we're now looking to take it to the next level in terms of this, uh, this incredible, scalable, reusable packaging technology that we've developed. Where can that go next? That's where we are right now. Very exciting time. So I'd be interested to know a little bit about how it all started. What what was the inspiration behind where you are now, I guess, at that three or four year period? So where it all started, going back even further to um, uh, my old business, I ran a technology business and our clients were um, primarily social and environmental impact organisations, as well as some bigger corporates. But people like the UN and Greenpeace, those were our sort of big clients. And we, a few years ago now, probably eight years ago now, did a um, uh, a big um, data project on marine plastic waste. So we built a visualized data model of where all the plastic was ending up in the ocean in what are now commonly known as the Great Pacific garbage patch and these sort of huge uh, conglomerations of plastic waste. And it, it just blew my mind and it began... A, a journey for me as a consumer to try and live differently and to eliminate the waste stream coming out of my home. And in doing that, in starting that journey, I noticed a number of things that I just thought were really not great about that experience as a consumer. There was quite a lot of friction. It was hard to find quality products. Generally, the reuse and refill experience in bricks and mortar stores, which by the way, were very supportive of, but it's not great. It's a bit mucky. You've got to remember the bottles, get them in a tote bag, walk or drive or, or however, get you know public transport to a store. Um, so it just felt like there were a lot of barriers to entry to, as a consumer, shopping more responsibly and eliminating waste coming out of your home. Um, so that was the sort of founding hypothesis behind the business that is now Bauer. And as I said, I then got together with uh, my uh, old friend and co-founder, Marcus, he'd uh, built a very successful, sustainable, uh, compostable packaging business, which he'd sold to a FTSE 100 packaging distributor. Um, and so he was looking for his next challenge. And this was, uh, you know, the stars aligned for us to to take this on. And and that's how Bauer was born, really. OK. And what, what kind of challenges have you had in, in that sort of four year period? I mean, there are obviously lots of ups and downs in that time, isn't there? So what are your proudest sort of hurdles you've jumped over? Well, I think one of the things we're really most proud of is, is that we've built this validated reusable packaging system. It's it, You'll know this through your work with Pack Hub and knowing a lot of the other players in the reuse and refill space, that it's not easy. Uh, that, that effectively we live in a linear supply system, right? Where products are designed to be used once and thrown away. And um, uh, and that's really problematic, particularly when recycling rates for plastics are incredibly low. Uh, recycling is generally really dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. And 
almost everyone right to the upper echelons of government, except that we can't recycle our way out of this this waste crisis. So I think there's a lot of inherent industry barriers to building a, a scalable um, reuse model. And I, uh, we're very proud of that. So we initially won a grant from Innovate UK back mm -hmm. in 2020. That allowed us to hire a packaging engineer from Procter & Gamble, um, a guy called Ben Coleman, who you may have well have come across. Um, and, uh, you know, Ben helped us it work on the first iterations of how can we design a pack that it can be reused multiple times and that critically eliminates the need for washing? Yes. Because the it's the washing of packaging in between use cycles, which is really challenging, technically, environmentally, economically. So that was our sort of first innovation was how do we design that out? Um, which we've done successfully. Um, we do that through an airlock valve in the spout, which um, um, eliminates any air or contaminant getting back into the pack after the liquid has been um, has been um, extruded. So I think we're super proud of of, of Bauer Pack and you know the the many hurdles we've had to uh, jump over to make that a viable, scalable system. That's probably one of our, our big pride points. Um, I mean, all sorts of challenges. You know, it's a tough time at the moment for consumer businesses, for retailers. Uh, and, you know, we're we're in really good shape and we've navigated some very choppy waters to get to to where we are. So I think, you know, it, you'll know this, having spoken to a lot of startups, it is an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. And um, there have been many ups, there have been many downs, but we're still here and still smiling. Yeah, yeah, so the ups uh, should um, be more than the downs, and then you're in a good place. You mentioned about sort of, I think it's household and health and beauty products. There's a good reason why you're focusing on those two. Yeah, that's right. We we um we looked at we did look at food packaging, reusable food packaging for a while, but the the barriers to entry there are extremely high in terms of the regulatory and legislative environment <clears throat> and food. Um, safety standards whereas for personal care products to agree to, to a degree um but by and large for for the products that we sell uh it's more viable in terms of the model that we built so it was, and, and we're really focused on that that's a huge addressable market it's over 155 billion um pounds worth of, of addressable market in the UK and Europe so there's a there's a lot to go after there. There's a lot of plastic waste to be saved from people's bathrooms, from their kitchens, from their cleaning cupboards. Um, so that's why we're sort of laser focused on on those categories. It's there's less barriers to entry, and we feel it's a really scalable market to address and solve a big problem. Excellent. Um, I, I guess it might be worth just explaining the process. What happens to your sure like, some, yeah on journey. Well, here we go. So um, you order your packs from bowercollective.com. This is our best-selling grapefruit washing up liquid in a bower pack. So I've already mentioned, um, well, I'll come on to that. I'll just talk through the process. You, your products are delivered in refill packs. This is a litre of product. You then empty the product into one of your bower dispensers or whatever receptacle you have. You may have another washing up liquid dispenser at home you want to use. When those packs are empty, they pack completely flat. You then send them back to us in a prepaid returns envelope, which is included in your order. And we encourage our customers to send back multiple packs concurrently because it's more environmentally and economically um, viable on a repeat basis. Those packs come back to our refill center, which is in Swindon. And we um, conduct quality control um, we also do randomized microbiological testing to ensure the stability and safety of the product. And they're basically refilled with exactly the same product. Now, they're also, um, we also have a digital tracking system. So each pouch has a unique digital ID in our digital passport system. So we know at any time what um, product is in there, what batch code of product is in there. So if we need to do a batch recall, we can do that. And it has another advantage that when we ship the product to the customer, they can scan the QR code on the back of the pack. They will get real-time impact data. So it'll say, hey, Paul, 
This pack has been reused three times. And in doing that, we've saved X amount of plastic waste and also X amount of carbon because we've established through a life cycle analysis that uh, reusable packaging is is um, exponentially more carbon efficient than single use disposable packaging. So, and then it goes on repeat. You put your next order in, your packs come out, you empty the packs into your dispensers, you send the empties back to us, we reuse and refill and redistribute back to the market and so on and so forth. And we think, you know, generally a bit of wear and tear, you can get about 10 um, use cycles out of each pack. And when we deem the pack to be no longer usable or damaged, um, we recycle them with a specialist partner at their end of life. Yeah, brilliant. I think from a consumer, thinking of it as a consumer, to to bring to life how by using the reusable pack, it's, it's helping the, the environment in very specific ways is, is really compelling. I think that's... That really helps just make the whole thing seem tangible, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think it's super important to um, reward the consumer because there is, you know, we I mentioned at the beginning this experience of going to like a bricks and mortar store where you have your tote bags and your bottles. You go in, there's the 25 litre tubs with the taps on. And, you know, that's quite a lot of friction for a consumer. Whereas with ours, you, you get your delivery you get your packs out, you fill your dispensers up at your kitchen sink, you're done in about two minutes. And then you just pop them in an envelope. So there's still a, uh, a physical, additional physical behavior for the customer beyond just chucking stuff into their bin or their recycling box. Um, but we try to make that as seamless and, and frictionless as possible. And also to consistently reward the customer for their positive behaviors. So yeah. they do feel like they're contributing to solving a problem, which is super important. Excellent. So what's next for Power Collective? Well, so at the moment, Paul, we're trying to, um, well, we are diversifying. So we've, as I said, validated Powerpack with our direct consumer business. We've now got over 110,000 households that we deliver to across the UK. Um and we're now launching in physical retail. So we've just got our first half a dozen listings in retail stores in the south of England, which is really exciting. Uh, and the other thing that we're doing is actually speaking to other brands, um, uh, primarily personal care beauty brands at the moment, about licensing the Bowerpack technology to them so that they can also deliver a zero waste um, reusable packaging solution to their customers. So this is a really exciting new evolution of the business where we've invested very heavily in a successful, validated, reusable packaging system. And we're now in a position to be able to offer that out as a turnkey uh, packaging as a service solution to other brands. So that's that's where we are at the beginning of 2024. It's a really exciting place to be. Excellent. And I look forward to doing this again in 18 months to see where you've gone. So really exciting times. I think today co-founder and CEO of Bauer Collective. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Paul.